Hey, Bruce here, the 5-Minute Handyman. Uh, sometimes as we're building something, we change our mind and we have to do something different. So let me show you some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. All right, so what I have here is I have got a drain for a shower. And originally I was going to use this type of a drain system. Uh, but uh, And this goes with a mortar bed. But... I decided to go with a Schluter system and this has a different drain assembly. Well the problem is is the hole that I've already drilled and the pipe that's in here uh, is too, the hole is too small for me to um, get this to fit all the way down to where it needs to be. And so what I need to do is I need to drill a bigger hole. Now I could take my uh, saber saw and I could take and I can mark a, a hole and cut around it. But I want to show you how I can use a hole saw. Uh, and a hole saw typically needs a center point to hold it as you're drilling through. And I'll show you how to use this hole saw to make this hole bigger. And so uh, just a, a little tip little trick on how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hole saw and set it up into my heavy duty hammer drill. Okay so that's all set and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark the center line of where this where this cutout hole is. And um, So what I'll do is I'll put my square up against the framing and I'll make a mark there and I'm also going to make a mark I'm going to use a squared piece of lumber to uh, continue this line across here and then I will make a mark going across this way as well and I'm going to use this line as my edge and I'm going to get it near the center of where the pipe is uh, because the pipe is more important than where this previously drilled hole is. Alright, so I'm going to do that. I'll continue this across, line up this edge here, and draw a line like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wood and I am going to mark a center point on here and then I'm going to use this as my drill point. And so the way I'm going to do that is I will make a line here. And then I'm going to make a line across this way. Make sure that it's smaller. Okay, and a tip here is when you're going to make a, a, a line to continue, I take my pencil and put it on that pencil line, bring my straight edge up to it, and then I can draw my line and get a nice clean edge. All right, so what I'll do now is I'm going to line up these two side lines here with what's on the ground. Line this up with the top. I'll take some screws and just screw this in. And I'll use uh, I'll use two of them here so that I'm guaranteed of things not moving. Okay, so now I have a place for my center drill to line up, and so what I'll do is I'll look through these little holes in here to uh, see that I'm getting my drill point in the center of where I need to have it. Okay, and so now uh, this drill is a heavy duty drill and if I'm drilling a hole that's four and a half inches I want to make sure that I use something that's heavy duty. don't want to burn out the motor. Uh, I have this set on um, medium and so uh, there's going to be quite a bit of torque so I need to get my hands on this drill pretty tightly to hold it in place. Uh, also, I'm going to put it up against my leg so it doesn't uh, get pulled out of my out of my hands. Quite a bit of torque here. All 
All right, so now I've gotten a cut through this piece of plywood that I put on. Uh, now I don't need a center point for my drill because this is going to provide the um, the area for my hole saw to stay in. Alright, so there I have it. I've got it cut through and so now my flange will be able to fit all the way down. Alright, so that's a, a tip for you on how to use a hole saw in a spot where you have previously have a hole or a, have drilled the wrong size hole saw. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, love to have you subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks.